Well, hello everyone. You and Terry Gardner here, back with another automation tutorial. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about pancakes. Pancakes is one of a modded dish under the American Breakfast uh, mod. If you go to Steam, you can find it there. And this is pretty much the com most compact, best way, in my opinion, to do this. Again, these three things here are always optional. Well, the plates aren't optional, but you can have them somewhere else. Prep station and your corner grabber are optional. And basically the way this works, I'll use my mouse for this, is you have your sugar combining with your flour. You can combine the two of these into each other like this, which will work perfectly fine, or the flour could be here, the sugar could be here, it doesn't matter. And your eggs, your eggs have to be cracked, which is why I'm feeding that directly into the mixer and I'm not combining with that, because it is not needed. And then the way it makes the batter and then the batter is portioned, goes by a conveyor belt or a grabber here in this case, to a safety hub, corner grabber, to the prep station. This could be a frozen prep station if you like. So let's load it up real quick. It's pretty straightforward. Sugar combines with the flour, combines with the cracked egg, which is how you typically make pancakes. You have you have sugar, and you have flour, and you have egg, and you mix them together, and there you go. And the way that pancakes work is customers can order one pancake. They can order two pancakes, and you guessed it. They'll be able to order three pancakes. So we'll let that we'll let that finish. I hit that by accident. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, the safety hob, I mean, it, it cooks pretty fast. There is your third pancake. Now, there are additional cards for this, like maple syrup and stuff, but we're not covering that because that's nothing to do with automation. But there you go. So you have stacks of one, stacks of two, stacks of three. If you try to put stacks of four, uh, it doesn't work because you can only have up to stacks one. But if you have a stack of one already, you can always run back and get a second one. Or if you have a stack of two, you can run back and get a third one. But you can't take them off. And it has P for pancakes. So if you have one pancake, it'll be one P, two P's, two pancakes, three P's, three pancakes, and so on. And there you go. This is pretty straightforward. This is pretty simple. Very compact. I mean, this is a three by five design. If you don't have these three items here, it'd be a three by four design. You can't really, you can't really compact it any more than that because you need the two combiners, you need a grabber for each of the ingredients, and you need a mixer. And there you go. Um, if you want to do it manually, you'd get rid of having the portioner in this area here. But again, why would you do it manually when you could automate it very, very simply as this? Right, let's go back out of this so you can get the full view again. And there you are. Very straightforward. This is your. I'll go to the card, I'll show you what the card actually says. It says American breakfast, makes pancakes as a main, and then the recipe is here. Flour, egg, sugar, and mix, portion, cook, plate, and serve. Customers can order up to three pancakes in a stack. And uh, you can uh, you can have, your prep stations can hold one each slot, so you can have four in this. You could link more of these together if you wanted to. You could have a couple, you could have um, another grabber here, another prep station here. You, you could really kind of rig this up however you want. Uh, if you need to, but I do recommend having a prep station. It will really help you out because otherwise you'll be able to do one, pick at, one pancake at a time. And if you have groups, do you have say two or three or four people ordering three pancakes each? That's, you know, six, 12, nine, you know, pancakes that you're going to need. And it's going to take a while for that to cook. And, you know, obviously don't want to lose the game because of having to wait. So a setup like this to me is ideal. Pretty straightforward. Three by five design as compact as you can get it. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. Now, do you like waffles better or do you like pancakes better? I, it depends. If it's a really good pancake, I'll take pancakes. If it's a good waffle, I'll take a good waffle. But if they're mediocre, I'll take pancakes. <laughs> I'll take a pancake, a mediocre over each, but I'll probably take a really good like Belgian waffle over, over really good pancakes. Like just with syrup and butter. I don't like whipped cream or none of that junk. Anyway, guys. What is your preference for, for breakfast? Do you like pancakes? Do you like waffles? Leave it in the comment below. And if you're enjoying these videos, hit that subscribe button. It really help me out to get to my next goal. And I'll catch you guys in the next automation tutorial. Take care now.